continuing promises of mission um, based around the USNS Comfort, traveling around uh, Southcom AOR, specifically South America, Central America, and the Caribbean, just providing medical aid to different communities and helping out in a number of other ways. I was born and raised in Haiti, and it meant a lot to me for me to come back to my home country and support this mission. Uh, it it meant a lot because it, the people here are proud, and it does mean a lot to me. In Haiti, the civil affairs team was uh, instrumental in uh, populace and resource control outside the uh, uh, Killick Coast Guard base where the medical site number one was and also at St. Luke's Hospital, which was medical site number two. We also um, coordinated with local NGOs on the ground for the uh, tr transportation off the ship and onward distribution to uh, communities in need within Haiti. My name is Gunnar Sergeant Jean Francois. I'm the group Gunny for Fourth Civil Affairs Group. Um, being of uh, Haitian descent, uh, I'm a first generation American. Uh, my parents were born in Haiti. I was born in uh, New York. But being a first generation American, it feels good to, be co to come back to Haiti and being able to give back. Um, in 2010, I was actually coming back from deployment from Iraq. I was desperately trying to come here. An earthquake just happened. And I wanted, to, I wanted to help out. I wanted to do whatever I can, whether it was interpreter, whether it was, I mean, passing out MREs, helping whatever it could, search, uh, search and rescue. Didn't get the chance then, so um, now feels really good. You know, I, I feel like I feel like I've attained the dream that I, I really wanted to do. So um, that's important to me. I'm glad to be here. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. I felt that. Uh, for what we've done here, I, I think we've, we've done a good job. I think we've done a good job and I'd like to do more. Uh, I, continuing Promise mission is definitely needed in countries such as uh, Haiti um, and all, in, all throughout the Caribbean. As a civil affairs team leader, I'm responsible for overseeing engagement with the local community and being that liaison in between the military and the civilian populace. So that involves uh, visiting several different areas in the community, such as schools, orphanages, and meeting with local leaders. One of the most memorable events during Continuing Promise was the visit to the school in Leogan. This is an area that five years before had been the worst devastated by the earthquake that had struck Haiti. And it was amazing to see kids coming out from the local community, uh, just full of enthusiasm, um, really looking to uh, make a difference in their community. And it was uh, something I'm very proud of is that we were able to help them out. You know, life is what you make of it. You know, anything is what you make of it. So you can easily come out here and just kind of do your job and call it quits. Or you can come out here and actually, you know, learn the culture, embrace the culture at the same time. Um, be proud that you do have the power to influence or cultivate change. <laughs> 